In the village of Boston Spa in West Yorkshire sits the British Library's National Newspaper Building, a place where modern-day robots look after some of Britain's oldest newspapers. It's a comprehensive collection of the publishing output of Britain, the United Kingdom, over the last two centuries, two to three centuries. 750 million pages of newsprint, growing at a rate of, we think, about seven million pages a year. It's, it's a, a sealed box, which is not visited by operational staff. So no staff come in here to retrieve these items. Instead, the, the, the retrieval is done by these autonomous cranes. The cranes know the location of every newspaper volume and every stack of newspapers and then fetch it out through this system of conveyors, turntables, take it out through an airlock and then runs to a workstation where the operator extracts the item and we batch them together overnight and send them to the reading room from which they've been requested. I'm a lover of history myself, so when something comes up you think, ooh, actually, that, that, you know, you can't help but just have a little peek and a read and just see sort of the difference in time, the difference in the way things are written. It's interesting from that perspective just to see how much um, journalism itself has changed over the years, just, just you know, and, and it's, that's the good thing about having them here is that you do have that almost time capsule. You sort of have a bit of pride in knowing that that's been kept and preserved for generations to come and there's important lessons to be learned in, within those pages so you know you've got a, an important job on your hands making sure that they're looked after properly. But keeping these precious tomes safe requires more than careful storage. Newspapers, paper in general, is subject to the effects of the atmosphere, moisture in humidity in the air uh, and fluctuations in temperature. So we control those, both of those things in, inside this archive. We hold the temperature at 14 degrees uh, and we keep the relative humidity at 50%. In the void itself is a low oxygen environment, so if you were to go in there and strike a match, it wouldn't light. The, the T-car and crane systems that we've got here uh, are tailor-made for the British Library. It's an unusual thing with the very old and the very new sort of coming together, but the way that it's been designed is that it will work in harmony. Super technology going on right there, well above my head, but uh, it does the job and uh, as, you know, as long as I'm operating it, I'm more than happy playing with robots. <laughs>